Hello everyone. I am excited to do James 1, 3, and 4 today. This is the background sermon series and we will continue to go through the book of James. You can put this in the background while you are driving or doing whatever you're doing or you can uh, get out some note-taking gear and take some notes with me which would always be advised. Okay, so uh, essentially last time I did kind of uh, hint at verse 3, but we're going to go over James 1, 3 again, and then we're going to combine that with James 1, 1 4. So um, we're going to be going through the highlighted text today. So here we go. Okay, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Okay, so if we remember last week, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So essentially, the testing of your faith producing steadfastness is my little muscular arm right here. Not my muscular arm, because I am not very strong, but some other cartoon's muscular arm. And essentially, this is saying spiritual toughness. So, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Just like sports, just like playing musical instruments, it's going to make you stronger in that. You're going to keep on getting stronger. Um, whether this is a super serious issue, or whether it's gossip, or slander, um, greed, anything. When you continue to overcome that sin, you will continue to get stronger. And we know it talks about this in Romans 5, 3. So spiritual toughness. Okay. So secondly, and let in verse 4, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So essentially, this is saying that uh, James wants us to be well-rounded well-rounded as Christians. And this is a difficult uh, difficult part for us because we all have different um, sins we struggle with, whether that's sexual immorality, uh, you know, uh, anything really, greed, anger, slander, gossip. So we all have different, th different sins we struggle with and we're supposed to be well-rounded. So let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So this is going to be a lifelong process. There's a great application <clears throat> that I read in a commentary, and I'm definitely going to use it. So this is my clam right here. I'm really proud of my clam. Uh, and we know that clams, the sand gets stuck in the clam, and then the clam will make a pearl out of it. Well, this, uh, this is a great application piece because that sand that gets in there is an, is an irritant. It's annoying. It's not supposed to go in there. But instead of the clam spitting it out uh, or just being irritated by it, it turns its issue, <clears throat> its problem, into a beautiful rounded pearl. So this is just how, this is just what we should do as we're going to let steadfastness have its full effect that you may per be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So every time, let's say this, the sand for us in an example is gossip. We go to work every day, whatever profession you work in, and the gossip is there and it's real and it's hard not to give into. Well, every time that we produce spiritual toughness, we're going to turn our sand into a pearl. We're going to turn our sand into something that's going to be beautiful and it's going to help our character and we're going to be well-rounded, perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So essentially, we want, to have, we want to create pearls in all of our life with all of the different sins that we struggle with. Sometimes we may not struggle with certain sins that other people uh, struggle with that um, some people may never get over. And we just need to uh, praise the Lord for that and uh, and continue on the path of righteousness with the other sins that we struggle with. So we need to make a whole bunch of pearls in our life. That irritation, that sand that gets into our life, we need to change it 
into pearls and we need to uh, have a lot of different uh, beautiful characteristics in our life so that we, we will be perfect and complete lacking in nothing okay this was a very short uh james uh letter because i kind of went over verse eight last time but next time we will be going th uh, five through eight so the next uh, background sermon series will be going through James 1, 5 through 8. So if you guys want to read that or um, study that at all, that's the next week on Thursday's background sermon series. I hope that you guys have a blessed rest of your day. All right, bye.